Okay, hey everybody, Jim from Discovery Divers coming at you today. Uh, today we've got a review on a product. I hope to have more of these. Uh, today's product is the Apex Aluminum Spool, right? And uh, if, if you're if you're a guy or, or a gal who knows guys, uh, you'll know that guys like a few things, uh, no matter what the object is. If the material is titanium or carbon fiber, uh, or if it's anodized aluminum, uh, those are high on the list of, of guy things, and uh, and I've wanted to check out aluminum spools for a while, and this is actually the first one I've got my hands on, right? So uh, usual spools are Delrin or, or plastic of some kind, and um, recently there's also stainless steel spools, and uh, this is maybe the first aluminum one I've I've saw. So let's let's have a look. Also, a side note, my green screen is all messed up today because the spool that I chose was the same color as, as my green screen. So I had to change the green screen, and, and obviously I don't know how to do that well, so everything's got kind of a blue tone. My, my hat messes with the green screen, so I had to, had to have my hair. Not a great hair day for me. I don't really have great hair days anymore, so it is what it is. All right. Okay, so first, uh, unpackaging the, the spool, right? It comes it comes on a nice uh, pack here. It's here, and, and there's a nice stainless steel spool. It's got some some kind of information in the back. Uh, I chose, they come in three sizes, right? There's the 15, the 30, which I have here, and uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, a 45 meter as well, all right? If you've seen my, my previous video about SMB and S, uh, and spools, uh, you'll know that I favor a 30 meter, very versatile for normal recreational diving in light deco needs. So that's what I favor. So that's the one I decided to have a look at. Um, now, uh, a lot of people talk about stainless steel spools, about being really thin. And this one, I can't honestly say that this one would be thinner than a normal spool or not. Um, it probably is a bit thinner, but this one has a bit of mechanical um, sculpting. It, it's quite nice, actually. Um, you know, the face is, is sculpted here, and it it's sculpts out. It, what it really looks like, maybe I'll put a picture in later, what it really looks like is that butterfly yo-yo from Duncan when, when I was a kid, right? That That... <laughs> that's really what it looks like. It feels very good in your hands, right? Okay, so taking it apart, first thing I'm I'm noticing uh, that's that's very interesting is it has uh, a leader. I guess you could call it a leader on there. So normally, right, I will tie this myself, right? I'll tie a long loop and then a short loop on the end. This actually has its own kind of safety pull, right? So the loop ends here. And then this is like for holding on to that when you put it through itself, right? You've got something nice to pull on. It's kind of a nice feature. And uh, the advertising says that this is like a more durable material and, you know, for tying off on metals or sharp objects or whatnot, that very well may be. Um, comes down here. Here's the part I like the best, actually. Um, it's got a swivel here, right? Um, built in. Some guys that I've seen on the internet, I don't think in person, I've seen put a, a fishing swivel here. Um, and actually, if you've used SMB a lot, especially in training scenarios where you launch it, bring it down, launch it, bring it down, or if you live in an environment where you use your, your SMB, your signal marker buoy, on almost every dive, you'll know the problem that this is trying to solve, right? Um, so when I reel in, right, not a reel, a spool, right? When I reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. Well, every time I bring the line like this, it's actually making one twist in the string. And after a few dives, three, four, five times, who knows how many times, the string gets all gnarly, tangly because it has so much, so many twist tensions in it. And something like this is gonna prevent that from happening, right? So every time you twist it, it's going to let it twist, right? And every every twist, twist, twist. So this is nice. The downside I've heard, um, and it makes sense, right? You're, you're adding some kind of failure point, right? Um, but this over here, on this side, it's sewn. 
uh, on this side it's just kind of looped so but of course this could fail as well um, the guys I've seen do it use some sort of heavy-duty fishing tackle which sounds pretty durable to me heavy-duty saltwater fishing tackle must be, be uh, nice anyway that's kind of nice uh, the line itself is of course it's colored I I can't speak to its strength I'm not gonna test it it looks really nice it's it's thinner than the cave line I use probably also allows this to be a little bit smooth smaller um, I, I can't really speak about that All right um, in terms of use I can easily see that this will be very easy to clip into because the line is is out of the way right and that these holes are very clear for clipping that's sometimes a problem there's a lot of line difficult to get a clip in there so so I like that feature of it now I am gonna mention one thing that I don't know the answer to and I'm gonna find out um, I don't know about the buoyancy characteristics of this spool now most spools right if they're Delrin or plastic they're neutrally buoyant right and it's it's not uncommon if I if I or a beginner launches a spool the spool will actually leave your hand and generally what happens it goes up maybe a meter or two a meter not even two meters a meter and then it's gonna slowly kind of come back down right in front of you or it'd be very easy to just reach up and grab right if the spool is negative in salt water I don't know that it is but if it is that could be a serious minus point for this item right um, I would I would much rather it float away than well I don't know about that if it goes down at least I have the string I could pull it um, I'd prefer it not to go anywhere right but it, I'm I'm wondering if this is negative and and I will test that um, if it's negative that that would be not <laughs> not such a positive all right so uh, that's the one potential minus point on this one I will check that so uh, apex uh, aluminum spool pretty cool they come in three sizes three colors. Um, another point, I don't know if this is a plus or a minus, uh, the selling price on this, expensive, <laughs> right? Uh, so that's, that's definitely a piece of bling. Apex, Apex aluminum spool, serious scuba bling. Uh, we'll get back to that on later. Thanks for joining in. I got broads in Atlanta, just to the in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies. Okay, thanks for watching. All right, well, if you like this kind of thing and uh, you think you'd like to see more, uh, I think there's a subscribe button right around here somewhere. And if you are coming to Japan and you'd like to hook up with us and dive, I think right around here there's a spot where you can click, come and have a look at the webpage and see what kind of events are going on. All right. Thanks a lot. See you on the beach. Bye.